Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. And hello, ladies and gentlemen. We, we got an audience today. Yeah. It's only one person, <laughs> but we got an audience. <laughs> That's why we, at one time we had two. Mm -hmm. Today we got one. I don't know if we can get better or worse if we're dropping down. Well, we're dropping down. <laughs> our, our audience is, is kind of slipping away on yeah. us. We, we got, but I tell you what, you, you do your deal. If, what was it that guy told you? If you, you was telling me about him saying that he liked the way you did that. Yes, uh, when I was showing the horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. Okay, welcome back. Well, Jerry, I'm going to be doing three more, reporting on three more shows. I'm yeah. going to attend two of them. But this weekend, you're going to East Tennessee, the Fall yes. Classic. It's the 19th, 20th, and 21st. Yes. White Pine. Call Bill Daltrey, 423-836-3607. Showtime Friday, Thursday and Friday is 6 p.m. Saturday is 5 p.m. Judges, Brent Colburn, Chris Pickle, and Roger Varney. Then we're coming back here in November the 2nd through the 4th in Shelbyville, Tennessee is the Celebration Fall Classic. You can call Celebration at 931-684-5915. Showtime each night, 6 p.m. Judges Scotty Brooks, Jamie Lawrence, and Chad Williams. And then the last show that I will be covering as host of What a Horse. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to leave it up to you if somebody wants to. <laughs> United Fall Finale is in Tunica, Mississippi, 16th, 17th, and 18th. Contact D. Cantrell, 706-366-1011, or 
or Sarah Smith, 931-580-5085. Derek Bonner, Ross Campbell, and Jamie Hankins will be the judges. I remember last time I think Jamie Hankins judged down there, he got a ticket because uh, Hatcher didn't have on no seat belt. So, <laughs> <laughs> he said he, he was trying to talk to that police officer and he told me, he said, Jerry, I told him that I was just new in town and he told me the law he was getting me on was same everywhere. Well, the, <laughs> that guy ain't got on no seat belt. <laughs> oh, okay. hey, he, he got him good, well, but yeah. he got him good. But I tell you what, we've got a lot going on, but I want to, I do want to do something. I, I got, I didn't get chewed out. I got warned last uh -huh. night that uh, there was a lady kind of upset with me because I was wrong. No. And so I'm going to correct. I'm going to correct it right now because I told James one thing you don't want to do is is make a grandmother mad. You That's don't right. want to make a mama mad, but you sure, you sure don't want to make a grandmother, grandmother mad. You're right you about grandmother that. mad. You, you got something. Mm -hmm. But Eli Cunningham retired the Ronald Mosley Trophy for in North Carolina. And uh, here's, here's a picture of him. Now, he retired. He won it 21, 22, and 23. I was wrong. Last week, I said he won it two years in a row. She let me know it was three. Oh, that's... That is, uh, they, they say that, that the wording on that plaque is, is unbelievable because it says, no greater love to Ronald than to put a child in the ring. And that's that's what you call trainers that train for the amateurs. Yes. But now he, he uh, that, that's a beautiful trophy. And that's a good compliment that they done, you know. Oh, it is. It, it is, and, and little Eli. Oh yeah, he deserved it. I mean, he worked and, hard at it. And ended he, his career that way. Yeah. Well, there's a lot going on right now. People talking about lawsuits and everything. We've got three days from today. Today, we're videoing this on the 17th. Yes. It'll be up tonight, but we've got three days until the government uh, enacts the 2023 rule, which wants to take everything but the dishpan away from us. Yes. Uh, and I want to say this. A lot of people out here talk about what they're doing, this, this, and other. Ain't nobody done more than uh, Frank Eichler. Yeah. Now, there mm -hmm. ain't. They can say what they want to. Everybody can jump over and take credit for this, credit for that. But Frank Eichler has been on this from day one, and uh, other people I know are, are trying their best to do stuff, but he, he, he does now. He works hard. Yeah, he works real hard on this stuff. You know, a lot of these other breeds are, are kind of, I've got two calls from Pennsylvania, because they know, they can see the dominoes falling. Yeah. And they should, I mean, hey. For years, they've, they've just said, well, that's a walking horse. Let but when die. you start one, it's going to trickle on down to the rest of them. Well, it, 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 it only, for them to say for years they've targeted us, they've used the Horse Protection Act to attack us, mainly because of the Humane Society of the United States. I read this new rule that they're wanting to do, and just about word for word is coming straight from the Humane Society of the United States. But some of the things they're doing is just, uh, I mean, it's so obvious. Oh, yes. I mean, that, that's what really tears me up is, is they act like, well, it doesn't matter what we do. We're going to get our way one way or the other. But uh, I'm going to tell you, I think that uh, if this industry ever wakes up and fights, I know I've got video of them doing things that you would not believe. And and I'm sure there's other video out there that's just as damaging. And and people need to get together and and fight this. Yeah. I mean what what are some of your you you got a lot of friends down in Mississippi, Louis how do they feel? Oh, they feel the same way. You know, they just feel like, you know I mean, cause this this industry helps a lot of people and keep a lot of, I'm going to tell you, a lot of kids, they never was able to go nowhere, go different places and keep them out of trouble and everything else. But instead of running the roads on Friday and Saturday night, they had a horse show somewhere. I know it. Showing horses. Well, I look at the collateral damage. Yeah. Too. And, and I'm going to tell you, it's going to be devastating on a lot of people. Uh, it will. 
tax shops, motels, hotels, restaurants, uh, manufacturers. There's a lot of manufacturers going to be suffering. And uh, I want to go around and, and talk to some people, especially at the tax shops. I'd like to get some information from some of the motels about how they feel about it. But it's just across the board, the, the, the barriers. Barriers. I mean, my goodness. And if, if you don't do horses, what do you, and I'll, I mean, just plain, honestly, what are you going to do? You know, I don't really don't know, Jerry. You know, it, it's, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, it's, it's a scary situation. It is. A lot and, of people don't pay no attention to it, though, yeah. Jerry, and that's, that's the bad thing. They just don't pay attention to what's going on. Or they just screw it off like, well, I heard one guy say, well, they've been trying to do this for 50 years. The only thing that saved us the last time they pulled this was the election. Yes. There ain't no election this year, folks. <laughs> and that, that's the bad part about it. There ain't nobody going to step in there and stop what's going on. Uh, we're going to have to fight. I mean, it's simple as that. We're going to have to fight. So... Uh, I'm going to fight it the only way I know how. 25% of every victory pass that we do is going for legal action. And this is a sample of some of them that have jumped in to do it. We're going to show some victory passes. It's a wonderful thing you're doing right here. Well, I try. North Carolina victory passes. Here we go. A King Thane and Bob Adcock for owner Bob Adcock, your reserve winner in the amateur 50 and over. Bob is another person that's real good for this industry, have helped oh, a lot. Shoot. Tell and me done about a lot it. of different things, you know. Well, he jumped right in when, yes. when I told him we was going to be doing the reserves and the first in reserve. He said, sign him up. I mean, he, he knows. That's what and, I'm saying. And, and he's from up there in Pennsylvania, so I'm sure he's talking to some of those uh, saddlebred people. Yes. Amateur owned and trained specialty winner, the Paddock Master and Kenny Smith. Kenny yes. Smith was another. That's right. So you have, yep, count me in. I mean, these people here is the one that's doing this is trying to help this breed to go. You uh, know, they are. I mean. They showing they showing interest in it, and the ones that don't want to do it, you know, and still want to show these horses. I mean, shame on you! And don't want to do it. I had know? one lady say, "We ought to just put their names out there and tell judges not to, not the time." <laughs> right here, spotlight on Jose, two-year-old stallion winner, and Bill Can uh, Bill Calloway. I start to say Cantrell. They both shoot me. <laughs> I don't right. know which one to shoot me first. <laughs> Bill Calloway. Well, Bill's a lot. Bill Calloway's a lot younger. Yeah. So you can't you can't mix them up. That's oh, a nice Bob horse. Right there. Do what? I said that's a real nice horse. Oh yeah, he is. Real nice Super horse. nice horse. Spotlight on Jose. I don't want to see this horse be a horse of the of the past. I want to keep being the horse of the future. That's it. You know. That's the whole thing. Here's me and Pocahontas, Allison Armstrong, Tyler Bob. They have never been beat in this class. No. That is one class that they've got down pat. Me and Pocahontas and Allison Armstrong and Tyler Malcolm. Allison's got a good string of horses, buddy. Real nice string of horses. You know, it's just like this, you take that young man right there, Tyler, you know, been doing this for a long period of time, you know. Now you have to start doing a new career or something. I interviewed him when he was 10. Yeah. <laughs> Honored in Texas and Bob Adcock. For Bob Adcock. That's pretty good, ain't it? Yes. I tell you what, now, Bob, Bob's got some outstanding horses. Oh, he got horses. some real good horses now, He really now. does. And they can flat get in there and show you what they got. We'll see him, we'll probably see him two more times. We'll see him in Shelbyville, and I'm pretty sure we'll see him in Tuner. Yes. Right here, smoking, and Tyler Balcom, your four-year-old Marion Gildan winner. This is one nice mare, buddy. It is a real nice mare. 
I like that name too. I believe Allison purchased that mare during celebration. Yeah. That mare got a lot of talent, you know. That mare winning with the previous trainer and then winning with this trainer here yeah. now. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a talented horse. Jimmy did well with him, with her. Yes. Allison will do good on this horse. Yep. Wished it with honors and Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong. I'm gonna tell you what's great about this. Two of these horses showed twice during the North Carolina show. That yeah. was one of them. Uh -huh. And there were several others that showed twice, which goes speaks a lot about our horse and the nonsense of this USDA 2023 yes. HSUS rule. And that's all it is. I don't see how, we, we've always failed in Congress. I don't see how they can be that blind. Harley Quinn and Beth Collins for owner Beth Collins. Now she's another one that said, new no, count me in. Yeah. That's a nice man right there. It she is. Just she walks and shakes. She's won a lot, too. Yeah. I know Beth loves this industry. You know, only you won't be putting people out of, out of a job, but you'll be putting these horses out of a job, too, because these That's horses fair. love this right here. Yeah, you, you can tell that. Ed. Jimmy Grant told a story about one one time. Now, right here is one of his wins. Yep. Now, he, he won he, he won the preliminary. Then he comes back and wins the grand champion. But that's the third time in a row yes. that he's done that. That's pretty, that's pretty spiffy, buddy. Oh, that is. Pretty spiffy. Nice horse. Well, he's a good jockey, too. Yes, he is. He lies, he lies one of the stud muffins of the future. <laughs> right there is the is championship. That's the one that retired the trophy. Yep. After this show, I'll have to call James and say, okay, t tell your wife I'm out of the dog. <laughs> you know, that's something else that, that, that I, I know I'll really miss is the camaraderie and the friendship oh, yeah. in this industry. You're right. Well, they got him the right color suit, didn't they? Oh, yeah, they got him the perfect color suit right there. They had them roses blue blue. specially made for him. <laughs> Eli is the man, no doubt. Right here, quite an honor, and Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. She made a real good ride. She good did. She made, she made two good, shows. She made two good shows. Real good. You know, it was a flip-flop yeah. between her and the Derrickson girl. That's a nice mare, bud. That is a nice mare. I tell you, I got a lot. I got a chance to sit down and spend spend some time with them and talk and stuff like that. And I mean, they are very interesting hey, young ladies there. They're, you know, very smart, intelligent. Oh yeah. And everything. They just they just enjoy the way it is. I, I, and I'm and Beth. I and enjoy talking. Yeah, to Beth. Beth is a real nice woman. Right Great. there is twisted with honors with Allison Armstrong in the saddle now. That was the second time that horse showed. Yeah. See, that's what gets me, is, is we have horses that can show back to back with the government there, yeah. and yet they say that our pads and action device harm the horse. Doesn't harm any other breed. breed. Yeah. It just 
arms the walking horse. That right now. But as soon as we're gone, they're gonna say, oh no, nah, that's the other president. Yeah. So we gotta go get these other breeds now. Even though it don't hurt them either. Final answer, Ali Joe Jacobs. That horse showed twice. Yes. Jake showed it too. And made two awesome shows. Yeah. That's see these things like this is what really, really gets to me. Is how they can sit up there and do it straight face, which just shows it how non-caring they really are. Right there, I sang Dixie and Jake Jacobs, amateur four-year-old Marion Gildan winner. And he rode that horse that his daughter did yes. and won the roses on it. That's a nice horse right there, too. Yeah, She's it is. Real good man. He's not, not had that one long. No. You know, I, there's a lot of people out there that's watching this, watching these shows and watching these horses. I just say, please save this horse. No. Hey, a lot of y'all out there watching could help. That's for that's fact. Right. I'm gonna tell you, I've been looking at the comments and most of those comments that are made against this horse are copied and pasted. Yes. They're not they're not individual comments. Here's cousin Bob this is and Jimbo right Connor. Jimbo Jim, made a super hey, ride on his horse right here. He did. I watched that class and I'm telling you, he 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 got her done. You take like Jimbo, all the stuff he do, that place he have over there in Sevierville, you know, yeah. is a nice place bring, you know, money and stuff like that to that town. Have a, a super nice place over there. He does, a, he does a heck of a job. He does. Promoting the industry That's itself. Right. And there's a kingpin in Bob Adcock, reserve winner. When I think of all the horses that showed up there and the performances they put on, then I think of what is happening. It just really does kind of, I don't know. Oh, right not. here, hey, I talked I talk quite a while to Jake about this. Yeah. And I talked to Jimmy the other morning, I had breakfast. Jimmy said, that young girl right there really works at it. Oh yes. And she does. That's what people need to realize. They was carrying her back and forth once a week to Kentucky, letting her work on helping herself with her legs. Yeah. That's a whole lot of horse for that little girl. But she's right there now. Gonna be hard to beat her oh, yeah, doing she that. Is. Nice horse. She's one that just, I mean, pays attention to everything, watches what's going on. And here's a king thing, Bob Adcock. That's another horse show twice. I know. Several of those horses yeah. up there show twice, that's what that's what makes this new rule that they're coming up with so obviously corrupt in itself. And I, I tell them that they, they can sit I don't there. know. I mean, it's just, I don't know how somebody can have the, the heart to kill somebody else's dreams and, uh, you know, well, that's, that's, and destroy it. They don't know nothing about the industry. it. Here's 12 to 17 championship. It was a good class. Yeah. Well, some, several of them horses in that class showed twice. Oh, yes. I know the first two did. Yeah.
Well, pretty much all these horses show back twice because you had to qualify and then you show back in the championship. So did. all of them. I knew the first two yeah. did. I don't know how many of the other coaches, but they did. Yeah. You know these, I don't know, I mean, I, I'm about like you, Jerry. I get to the point where it, it's kind of upset me the longer, you know, you feel like what's going on and, and the things that they do, especially well, being in this industry all your life. Right here's your winner. He's a lucky strike in Aubrey Derrickson, for Ralph Derrickson. You're 12 to 17. Now, she was reserved. Yes. In the preliminary. Come back and won the. Come back and won the championship. A real good horse. But that's how close. <laughs> I mean, th this shows you how close these horses are in, in talent. Yeah. That young lady can ride. Oh, she, she can ride. Got, she sits a good seat. Right there's honored in Texas and Bob Adcock. Reserve winner. You know, like you were saying earlier, you know, people that's against this horse, they've been rehearsed and told what to say and yep. what to do and stuff like that. You know, what we talking about right here, we don't have no script. We just come from, scrape from the horse and say what was, what's on our mind about this horse and how this horse feel to us. Well, I've often said that you don't need a script if you're just telling it like it is. That's right. But uh, in all honesty, when you look, right here's the final answer. Now, this was Jake. That's the horse his, his daughter showed. In, That's right. <laughs> in the youth class. But I have noticed this, that uh, and, and this is what gets me. They they put a horse down with a high band as a sore horse. Yes. They put a horse down with a 116th or 132nd off in the shoeing as a sore horse. In other words, they tell one lie right after another to condemn this horse. And they know that what they're doing is a lie. Yeah. Which to me is falsifying evidence, which is against the law. I don't see how in the world they can't be charged for a crime. Yeah. Because if I did that, believe me, someone would come and get yeah. me. Mm -hmm. If I extorted people like Caesar did with the DQPs, threatening them if they didn't turn a horse down, all of that to me is against the law. And if it's not against the law, it's damn sure unethical. Yeah. This was a good class. There was a really bunch of class. good ones really in, there. Horses in there. That's what we got horses that are just. You take either one of them horses and put them with five other horses, they'd be the winner. That's right. But I will say this, I like it when you look up and you get five, six, seven, make a real good oh, one yeah. in there. Well, the thing about this breed of a horse right here, I guarantee you, you can put 10 horses out there in a field that's on the side of a highway, and everybody look at the horse and say, oh, that's a pretty horse. But I guarantee you, you stroke that horse across that field out there, everybody gonna stop and look at him because it's exciting and it's something that they want to see. We've seen a bunch stop out your place. That's right. They see them out there in the pasture. So. That's something that just goes. There's Link, he's getting it done. I'm gonna tell you, right there's your winner, Mr. True Blue. I'll tell you what, you, you had a ring full of good horses, and that power broker, oh, Sarah yeah. Coffee just bought him. Mm -hmm. That's a good horse. You know, when, when in this industry, when you got a good horse, the people in the stands look out there 
and the judges place horses where they think there should be. Yes. And then people in the stands, they look at the horse and, and see the one they like. Yeah. And that's us like Sarah. She saw that fire broke here. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was nice. Real good show. Yeah. I mean, here we go. All righty, you do your deal. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. All right, welcome back. Now we have talked about the walking horses. So now we're going to go and we're going to watch some racking horses. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of people, we, we was discussing the racking and the walking of course, Facebook, you can do a lot of posting back and forth out there. I picked out a, what I thought was a great racking horse. Yeah. And uh, it was fifth. They told me that, you know, some of them are racking, some of them walking. Yeah. And they, they kind of lost where they were. <laughs> right here is your three-year-old open. Now, this is one that uh, I will say this, and I don't care. I, I thought we deserved a little bit better, but there was no doubt in my mind who was the best one in that class. Yes. Because Jamie Lawrence was on a bad dude, That's right. buddy. That horse, that horse be actually belongs to Roy Wester. And uh, that is a good horse right there. That, that horse there is a, hey, he, he was, he was flat getting it done yes. now. No doubt about it. He's Slim Sebi. That's the same one that Roy showed over at the Ag Center and won on. But he's Slim Se Sebi. Won the blue for Roy Wester with Jamie Lawrence in the saddle. I'm honorable. Brian Barnhill was reserved. TikTok, Keith Bicknell. Good old country boy. I like that name. Gary Wayne Smith. Miss Bombshell. Miss, I'm sorry. Miss Blonde Bomb. Steve Beam, and then served with Jerry uh, 
it says Jerry Williams, but Jeremy was actually in the saddle. And I know I put his name down. There he goes. But I thought he made a pretty darn good show. Right there was your winner. He's Slim Sibby and Jamie That's Lawrence. Nice horse. It is a nice horse now. Very nice horse. I couldn't, I couldn't fault that at all. But I thought he made a great show. Yeah. Roy's one that really supports us now. That, that's what I'm going to say. He, uh, he, he knows what we're doing with the 25% of the yes. sale, and he. He didn't even question. He just said, put me in. Right there is, this is your rack and style specialty action. Honors Image in County Green took the blue for Shane Porterfield. That is the first World Grand Championship and World Championship ever won by one of the Green family. Okay. Justified Laura Wentz was reserved. Ritz is warrior, Ella Abernathy. Something bad, Alexa Dutton. Shady's busting loose, Jack Kale. Putting slots at the Ritz. Lexi Smith, he's Buck Wild. Leela Massingale. That finished out the ribbons, I reckon. Yeah. County's a real good rider. Oh, Lord. She yeah, she is. He's a real good rider. Exceptionally good rider. Yeah. So I can understand why she won the World Grand Championship. But they, they. That's a good horse. Time. I mean, that's a real good it's horse that she rides. Good horse. Shane got, a, Shane got some talented horses and walking in racking. He told me that's the first time he'd ever showed ragged. <laughs> first time I ever showed ragged. Yeah. That one of my jokes. So. You learn all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah. There's honor's image. And see, he, he told me, he said, well, he doesn't shake his head a lot. But now he, he does shake his head. He just don't shake it a whole lot. Yeah. But now that's. Now he blow back in that brow. Oh know? yeah. County does a good job yeah, of riding, she does. but she yeah, does. She a good does. Job. You can't, you can't question the way she rides a horse. No. And here's the whole. <coughs> I had never seen this. <laughs> now, they won the trail racking. It was an amateur youth winner. Jose's morning at the Ritz was a winner with Timothy Smith and Michaela Latham. Both of them <laughs> doubled it out. That's the way to do a victory That's pass, right. That's Jerry. the way to do it. You're going to do a victory pass. Let's get, get, get on with it. Put the winners on here and let them ride you out. You right. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Speed racking country pleasure steak. Now, you know how many is in there? 
28, it was a bunch, and I'm gonna tell you, and you talking about was going around through that pretty <laughs> fast, buddy. All right, we got Sonny Bidet and Jeff Williams was the winner. Specs Bunny D, or Sonny D. Uh, Diana Dillon Henderson. Diggers Mischief, Lisa McCoy. Ridge Runners Doc, Amy Bunley. Doc Holliday, I'm sorry. Rowdy Raw Hides Miss Fancy. Marquelis Baker. Gigolo Jigsaw. Gigolo's Jigsaw. Boy, that's a name. Lawrence Eisenheimer. <laughs> Rojo. Brian Hodges. I'm state of the art. Kristen Dykes. Raw Hides Rowdy Nightshade. Tina Smith Yates. And Hammer Time. Jonathan Yeager finished out the ribbon. But now you got 28 horses out there flying around through there. And I mean, they wasn't holding back. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, you couldn't melt me and pour me on no. one of them. Not what they're doing. You see me on something going that fast, you better be hollering loose horse. Catch him. <laughs> That's what it don't mean. You better be hollering, catch him. <laughs> Run away, horse. <laughs> He's going. Years ago, we was over there, and a friend of mine who's deceased now, he said, I can run a camera for you. So I carried him over there, and the speed rackers was in there. Yeah. And I told him, I said, well, just frame them, try and keep them in the frame, and we'll see. Well, we got back, and we started editing the video, and all he got was the tail. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have none of the horse's body in there, just his tail <laughs> going behind him. That's the only way you probably could be to you is just get in one spot and just, let, and just watch them because you, well, it's hard to follow one. CJ's done this before, so yeah. he, he knows how hard they are to follow. But another thing, these aren't quite as fast as like that uh, Highway to Hell. Yeah. Now, you talking about him, when he goes yeah. around there, he's on his side. You have to lay, lay them speed records down oh, like yeah. you would a motorcycle. You're right. But they go from that real fast gate down to that. Dr. Ray will ride deep. Uh-huh. Or She love it. That's, a, that's some of her first horses she ever had was, well, I, I was a speed, watched, was a road I've, horse. I've seen some videos of her on, and I'm telling you. Yeah. She used to get down on the highway down in Mississippi down there and ride down the <laughs> side of the road down there on them and, I mean, fly. Outrun the car. Probably. Yeah. Here we go. With a big grin on her face. A lot of people like this now. Oh, yeah. Getting up and going now. Pick and take off. That little cowboy now, he's oh, yeah. the old man. Son, he will flat ride he one. Down, they'd be oh, a yeah. pile up that you wouldn't believe. You're like a NASCAR pile up. Well, 
what gets me is they go from that real fast walk down to that slow so, rack. Uh, yeah. But you know, in the other classes, they got a slow slow rack, medium rack, and then a fast, fast rack. Uh -huh. See, you see a lot of them with them little heel boots on and stop yep. them clipping themselves, going so fast. Well, they reach up there and cut yourself. Yeah. Well, that's why we put boots on Sly. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. he, he'll step on himself. I remember in 2004, I believe it was, the celebration, there was about that many in Lebanon. Under yeah. A lot of people watching out here wondering oh, about yeah. the walking horse. They uh, they need to come over here sometime and watch these speed trackers. Oh yeah. Yeah, they you talk about getting getting uh, riding. A lot of walking horse shows now are, are including speed, speed tracking yeah. classes with them simply because people enjoy it so enjoy much. Enjoy it, that's right. I wish there's a way a person could come up with a speed performance class. Oh, I'd like to see, uh, you know, when we used to have those races on Sunday? Yes. I'd, that's where them speed trackers come in, buddy. Yeah. Because you could have some good races with, with them. Real good races. We sent a lot of this video to the guy that's over the speed racking. Yeah. There was your winner. But now, I mean, I'm oh, telling yeah. you, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's something else when you go watch them and, and they come around through oh, there, yeah, especially it is. especially that highway to hell. Mm -hmm. Man, that horse can flat fly. All right, we're going. We got to go to a commercial. You got to do. You got to work. <laughs> Oh, we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, 
and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Make the call to breed to a true champion, minor ordeal, 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So, if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse, coming up. All right, welcome. You did a good job. Oh, I appreciate <laughs> it. I appreciate got, it. Got the commercials. <laughs> we, we're going to... Now, now you gotta you gotta go get ready to go to White Pine. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, you you have a good time up there. <laughs> Me, I'm gonna show some more video because we we got a couple of championships that people need to see. Oh yeah. Right here's Jamie Lawrence on the East Slim's Sevy for Roy Wester, your world grand champion, three year old. I'm telling you, that's a nice he, uh, horse. Roy's got some real nice horses. Yeah. And Jamie, Jamie's a good rider. Yeah, he can ride. Oh yeah. There's them roses. I tell you something, I like at the Reckon Horse Show. I, I see the first and second place horse do a victory yeah. pass. Yeah. They did that at the Fun Show a couple well, you, of yeah, times. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sure did. But now that I think that's that's a neat thing. thing there yeah. it is. Because a lot of times, you know, there's not a whole lot of difference between the first, first and second. second. That's right. That right there is one fine horse. Oh, that's no right. Doubt a real nice horse. Now. Real good horse. Right here, you you third to seventeen state class. Yes. County Green, an honors image for Shane Porterfield took the blue. Pumped up kicks. Reese Lofton for Mike Messenheimer. The Mighty Whitey, Parker Ellis for Jennifer Lynn Spivey. Highways High Definition, Kendra Yates for Cody and Kendra Yates. Born on the Bayou, Christy Fleming. Yo Mighty Sam, Yosemite Sam, I'm sorry. Even up to these names right here and get me now. Yosemite Sam. You know who that was, don't you? The little guy with a big mustache, yeah, mm -hmm, red yeah. mustache. Christy, I mean, Tara Smith. Yankee Lamont. Bobby Manis Capone. TJ King, the Maverick, Jordan Mann, and Mary Jane the Life, and Lisa McGuire. I like that Yosemite Sam. He was one with the shoot. Two oh, yeah. I tell you, in this class right here, I don't know who was, who was going the fastest. County on that horse, a candy, <laughs> running up and down the rail, looking, <laughs> coaching and running back and forth. Because candy, whole, candy gets into it. The now. whole lap she made, candy was right there with her from one end of the rail to the other end of the rail. <laughs> she got her steps in real good. Right there it is, honors image and county green for Shane Porterfield, your racking specialty action, 13 to 17 state world grand champion. But I'm gonna tell you, her days are over now. Oh yeah. She's gonna have to be in the adult division. And that, that division just got tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what happened when Dahlia Smith went up. Oh yeah. Ever. I remember Georgia Ham Pratt told me when Dahlia was 17, she said, Jerry, we got a show against Dahlia Smith next year. Yeah. This was a good class here, too. Oh, it is. Yeah. was. The Racket World Grand Championship. I'm McGregor, and Chris Zan took the blue for Brian Rowland. He's extreme. Jamie Lawrence for Roy Wester. The Thug, Tanner Birch, Kane Lucky Easterling. 
I am Durant, Chesley Harvey, or Franklin Harvey, the finish line, and Whiteside, Coda Downs, what a name. Hannah Paget, the master switch, Gary Wayne Smith, J.D. Smith. Those two horses right there, outstanding, but I'm gonna tell you, there was a picture out there of Jamie Lawrence going up to Chris Zand, congratulating him on his victory. Because, yeah, Jamie Lawrence has won that thing so many times, it's not funny. Oh yeah. I mean, he is a multi-time world grand champion in the racking horse. Oh, they had, this was a good class. Tanner made a good show. Yeah. The thug. I mean, they, it was tough down. Yeah. Good. All right. That's the way it ended. But I'm going to tell you, that was... Uh, the Racking Horse Show was good. Oh, yeah. It was a real good it was show. It was real a good, good show. All right, I think we got a little bit of time left. I want to remind everybody, victory passes for the next three shows, 25% goes to legal action, and it will go to legal action. It ain't going to no politician, yeah. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. But they've, you can send, if you don't want to run a victory pass, you just want to donate some money. You pay, payable to yes, put on there for legal actions, and mail it to What a Horse, P.O. Box 1662, to put my attention on the, I don't want it to get mixed up in the people sending oh, yeah. them money to pay. Mm -hmm. Now, the, when you're paying for a victory pass, you'll make it out to Water Horse, and yeah. Jimmy's gonna deduct 25% of that. But other people, and I've had a few people call, want to send, just send in some money, for the legal action. And believe me, there will be, there is no choice but to have legal action for what's fixing to take place Friday. Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, it, it, that, that is, I don't know. I, I, the more I think about it, of what they're doing and, and realizing that it has nothing to do with a horse, not one thing to do with a horse because there's nothing that they can show that where the horse suffers because it's got pads and action mm -hmm. device. Yeah, something. you're right. It, it just doesn't. Just, uh, you can take that flyer down now. Oh, he got it down. But it doesn't. It just, uh, if it made sense, it'd be different, but it doesn't make Maybe. sense. It's based on a line, based on what one group wants. That's right. We will see y'all next week. Y'all be careful and be safe. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.